Big today, thousands of students are going to flock to UNO to start their very first day of college. But the drive in doesn't actually literally have to be a drive in. That's right. UNO is pushing for alternative transportation to campus, like using a shuttle from Baxter Arena, which is where we find Jenna James this morning. Jenna, good morning. Good morning, guys. I am so excited for a uh, hockey season that I actually had to stand here this morning. That's not actually the real reason I'm here. It's because of these buses that are going on behind me, these shuttles. If you park here in lot 26 to get to UNO later today, you can take a free shuttle on over to campus in order to save yourself tons of time trying to find those parking spots. Now, if you don't have a, a card and you need to get to campus, there are B-cycle and zip car stations that allow you to rent bicycles and cars for a little bit of a fee. And then new this year, there's also a ride share program that really lets students meet others who might be carpooling in the same area. So all you have to do is sign up and then it will automatically match you with someone who might be going to the same area as you are. You can also use that for one trips. So say students want to go down to Kansas City for the weekend. They can actually put in and see if anyone else is going to Kansas City and they want to carpool and cut, you know, share the price of gas. And by the way, if you use that rideshare program, some of the parking spaces are so close to the buildings you're going to that it's even closer than the dean gets to park to that building. So you might want to look into that rideshare program. Now, of course, if you don't have a car, there are some other options, including their MAV ride program, which is their bus system. Now, since January, all you have to do is use your MAV card to be able to get onto that bus and ride it all around campus. And days three, those stops that it goes to are much closer than even some of the parking spots. Ridership has gone up drastically since they switched that. So definitely a good option for students. Yeah, Jenna, safety is the uh, utmost of importance on college campuses these days. How are they making sure this rideshare program, which is new, is safe for the students? You have to sign up as a student faculty or staff member. No one else in the community is allowed to use this. And then they really check to make sure that they match you up with someone who lives near you. And then you and that driver or rider get to decide how much you're going to pay for gas and things like that to really make it fair. All right, good advice there. Jenna Jay is reporting for us live on the very first day of school at UNO. Jenna, thanks.